everyone and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 Game of Thrones as my custom house sentinel and uh, before we go ahead today I just want to quickly mention that I have included all of your guys character suggestions that you have made up until episode 6 and by now you have probably read my comment below episode 7 that I will not be accepting any more character suggestions for this series at least until further notice and the reason uh, for this is very simple we just have too many characters. Uh, so uh, let's have a quick look at our court. We currently have 60 people here. Now I should mention that half of this is women because I married off every one of your characters just so that they have a chance of actually getting some kids and making, uh, well, making the uh, house survive, how, uh, having the dynasty live on. Um, but still, half of this is your characters created um, courteous. And that is simply too much. It's simply too much. And I can show you why um, when we have a look at the other uh, Lord's uh, courts. For example, House or, or Lord's, Lord Stilfen has only 13 people in its court. The Green Fork has 15 people in its court. And Haraway's Town has 16. This is about what a Lord should have. But we have way more than that. Now, just as a comparison, the King himself only has 35 so we definitely have too many courtiers and the why I intended this to work you know this wouldn't really have been a problem because I would have only added the characters whenever I felt I needed one and also only when I actually have a position for them to to fill only when they can actually play a role but you guys kept asking me and kept bugging me when is my character gonna arrive have you added my character yet oh no I haven't been picked uh, I know it's not all of you, but some of you, and so I decided, you know, I'm just gonna put in all of the characters right now. Now, I should mention, though, that I have made all of your characters 18 years younger, uh, except for the ones that were already, like, 24. I only made them uh, up to 16. So, all of your characters are much younger, so they have a longer time to, you know, actually, well, they have a longer chance of actually playing a role in this series, so we'll see if they will uh, grasp, grab that opportunity. Now, uh, right now on this screen, I just want to quickly show you the one change that I have made to the Royal House uh, right now. I have renamed House Coldwind to House Baratheon and have given them a sigil that is very close to the one uh, that we use. It's not exactly, as, as you can see, it's not the exact same coat of arms as, as House Baratheon in, in Game of Thrones uh, or in, in this mod, but it's close enough and I think we can all understand what is what this is supposed to mean. And I only did that because... Uh, I, I feel like it, it just makes sense, you know, if Edric Storm, w well, would be put on the throne, he would definitely f uh, continue House Baratheon, so this only makes sense in my, in my mind. Uh, but yeah, uh, let's now go over and have a look at all of the new characters. We're also going to have a look at the old characters because I had to reshuffle some of the seats. Uh, I think the only character who completely lost all positions was Hollis, and that was because he wasn't an actual... Um, he wasn't an actual modified character before. He was our treasurer, but he no longer is. But anyways, let's have a look at our characters right now. So, uh, we have Elwood Charon, who is now our new treasurer. Now, I should mention that obviously I have um, tried to give as many of the characters a role. A role to play in this series, but not I couldn't fit all of them. And... Um, Another, I guess, downside of this is that I cannot, you know, stack titles for someone who's particularly loyal because I had to give, I had to really spread out the titles so that everyone could potentially get something. But anyways, so we have uh, Sir Albert Charon as our new treasurer. We have uh, Albert Loxley as nothing. He has nothing so far. We have Terence Blue Clay as our cupbearer. We have uh, Ben Cook as nothing so far. Uh, we have Andrew Falk as our master of horse. We have Kane Rivers as nothing so far. We have uh, Devin Shadowsteel as the Justicer. Uh, we have Raymond Eaglemont as our new Master at Arms. We have Raymond Banraid as one of our commanders. We have John Aaron <laughs> as our Sworn Shield. We have Roderick Staunton, not to you know be confused with the other House Staunton of Rook's Rest. He's uh, one of our commanders. Uh, then we have Ferris Amarat, who also does not have a position just yet. We have Alba Blackhammer, who is a High Almoner. James or Jamie Justice, who is uh, 
just a courtier right now. Uh, and then Hollis Goldhart, our former treasurer, who doesn't have a position at the moment. And uh, then we have Gior Wath, our, uh, one of our bodyguards. And then we have Kendrick Valkyrie, who I kept as a bodyguard. He was our former master arms, but I had to replace him because they were just uh, better people. Um, we also have Garrett Renor. Uh, he stayed the Spy Master, however, I did remove the Master of Horse title from him. Uh, we have Pate, who is still a bodyguard. We have Daphne Talister, who is still the Captain of our guard, but no longer a, technically a bodyguard. But yeah, that's just to, you know, give more people the opportunity to do something. Kedge Miller is still a Sworn Shield. Hostin Loris is the Master of Hunt. And Torrance Moore is still our Castellan. Um, so yeah, this is all of the characters. And... Um, yeah, uh, I guess one thing I should mention, that, but you've probably noticed this uh, already, for those of you who have actually um, suggested a particular first name for your character, I have tried to, um, I've tried to find a character with that first name. It wasn't always possible, for example with the Raymonds. This was actually, these two were, were suggested as Raymonds with O. But I couldn't find any of these or none of them that I could actually invite to my court. So uh, Raymond and Raymond is the closest I could get. But yeah, I hope that this works. Alright, so now that we have that out of the way, let's actually uh, talk about what you have missed in the last, I think, two months. Because I had to go forward a little bit just so that uh, I could actually invite all of these characters and move them around and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, um, so what happened? The North has completely fallen apart. There's so many more rebellions that have risen up. Now, obviously, North is still at war with the Iron Throne. Uh, they're still at war with Roose Bolton or Ramsay Bolton, I guess who is now fighting for Sansa's claim on the north. We also have Mandalese rising up. And then we have Rickon Stark, who is the lord of uh, Castle Servine, uh, claiming his, well, his birthright. And then we also have Barbary Dustin just rising up against this Gagosi lord. Now, um, I just want to quickly go over Rickon Stark and how Stark's, um, well, new seat of Castle Servine. Now, this has actually been conquered by Lord Brandon Stark. Uh, let's have a quick look at the history here. So uh, Clay Servine is still alive and he held the castle before Brandon conquered as a con uh, as a claimant and then Rickon inherited it. And now he is claiming the north for himself, but it looks as if though he's losing. I think, yeah, 50% in favor of Hagen. Now I don't know if he's actually going to lose because he's in so many other wars, but I guess we'll find out. Now so far the White Walkers have not made their move, but I'm pretty I'm pretty certain that they will do so eventually, and the AI is is not gonna at least the North is not gonna be able to stop them. Not in the state that they're in right now. So this is gonna be very interesting. Now I personally actually decided that I uh, you know want to do something about it, declare war, the war for dawn, but the problem is I can't do anything. So really there's nothing I can do um you know to to stop the White Walkers. I'm gonna have to trust the AI to handle this. And somehow I don't think it's gonna happen. So I think that at the very least a huge part of the North is going to get conquered by the White Walkers, and that's going to make them incredibly more difficult to defeat later on. So they are posing a real threat. Um, but yeah, we'll see. This is something we're going to have to deal with later on. For now, I think we're going to go forward. I should mention that it did have a crash uh, in January, um, but yeah, we'll, we'll just hope that this doesn't crash again. It was January 14th, I think. So yeah, we'll, we'll see how things are going. I'm going to go forward a little bit slower. And uh, once we hit February, we might go a little bit faster. But yeah, um, so we left off last episode with Lady Chloe being pregnant, which is amazing. And uh, someone... Oh, yeah, you can marry. Fine. Yeah, I, I, as I said, I arranged quite a lot of marriages. Uh, some of them I had to uh, bring underage girls to the table. Otherwise, there weren't any. There weren't, there weren't enough uh, uh, women that I uh, could marry the, these courtiers off. But anyways... Um, that's that's what's going on now. Uh, also, one thing I should mention that over the break or in between these these the episodes where I went forward a couple of months, we actually finished building our castle town. So as soon as we have a hundred bucks, we will be able to build our brothel, which hopefully helps quite a bit with the money. But oh no, we're already suffering. Oh my god, it's harsh winter. So supply number goes down, levy reinforcement rate goes down, build cost and build time goes up as well. Manpower growth, wow. This is really bad. This is really bad. We went from mild winter to normal and to already harsh. 
Winter must end, but as as I just as I've just shown you, there's nothing I can do. This is so expensive, so expensive. Oh well, uh, I think we can go a little bit faster since we did skip uh, the, the the day where I crashed last time, so that's good. A terrible fire has swept through the neighborhood of Seagull, where many of the brothels. Really again? All right. You know what, even though this is probably a bad idea, since we're making so much money from this brothel, I... I mean, 80 gold. If we, if I'm making... Okay, let, let me see this. I'm making 12... a uh, 2.5 a month, right? So, that means 25, that means 30 a year. 30 gold a year. So, this is 3 years. Has it been 3 years since the last time I did this? I don't know. I honestly don't know if it has been... Th you know what? I'm gonna do it one more time we're gonna see this. It's uh, it's 19. 19 now. Okay. Um, Alright, we'll see. I'll do it one more time. I'll save my brothel business one more time. But if it doesn't, if it doesn't work, then I guess I'm never gonna do it again. Okay, my Kurdia Lyra. Yes, you are becoming a, a poor fighter. That's very good for you. But as a woman, you don't really need it that much. Um, because it's very unlikely they're going to be leading armies anyways. Okay. Now, um, we can only, I guess, watch uh, the north disintegrate. Um, but so far, the White Walkers are not attacking, which is good. Good for us. And another daughter has been born to us. Okay, I was kind of hoping for a son, and she's actually sickly. Sickly, uh, you want to call her Sylvia. I don't really like Sylvia, I'm sorry. I think I am rather going to go with something like Charlotte. It's not really... I, I'm, it's fine. I think Charlotte is it's much better than, than, than that. Anyway, uh, let's go with etiquette, focus, and hopefully you will survive this. You are not a summer child, that's for sure. You are a winter child. So you should actually be stronger. You should not be as weak. But yeah, we'll, we'll see, I guess. Okay, let's close this. Um, there we go. Now, I'm actually surprised so far that we have not lost any courteous. I guess that's a good thing. Oh, what happened? Did you declare war? Nope, you have not. Okay. I'm just, I'm just waiting for them. I mean, they obviously can declare war in the north, but they can also declare war on these two independent, um, uh, mountain clan guys, lords, whatever. Um, so there's more ways they, or more people they can attack right now. Other than just the wall. Hmm. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see how things go. Um, Lord Rolf has usurped something. Good, very good for him. And we are saving again. Now, I should mention that I feel like it's going slower. Because our court is so, so huge now. I don't know if it's actually the court. But I kind of feel like it is. Anyways, uh, Elrond is making uh, himself, well, well known. By giving us an extra tithe. I like that. I liked it quite a bit. Uh, and we are able to actually imprison someone. And Doria. I don't even know who she is. But let's just stop your plot. I don't know. You are as a lunatic. You have no relations, no family. Why are you here? Everybody lies and the Curious and Seagat are no exception. One of them dared to speak up and tell me I'm too cynical. Really? You are Walter the Black's wife. Interesting. Yeah, well, he doesn't really like me because I exiled him. Now, I should also talk about this, uh, but we'll do that after this event. Uh, after she told me that everybody lies, I almost started laughing. So, I have a 20% chance of losing Cynical. And I did. Interesting. Yukuriya has started breaking the rules of the games she plays with other children. Apparently she thinks winning is more important than fair play. She learns quickly. I'll have to put a stop to that. Uh, I'll stop that. I don't want ruthless uh, vassals. I don't need that. Okay, so we're no longer cynical. Ah, I guess. That's fine. It's not, you know, what defines me the most. So that that's fine. Uh, Willis Tyrell is known as a generous. Now, yeah, what I did want to talk about is the whole exile thing of Walder Frey, or Black Walder. Now, I did that because I was kind of greedy. I wanted to have the money, and I didn't want to punish him. Now, I definitely wanted to punish him, so I feel like when I when I had that event, event because he murdered one of our whores, I think it was definitely the right decision to uh, imprison him. But then I probably should have executed him. 
that would have been a just sentence. I should have executed him. Now I let him live, even though he was a murderer. Whereas the poachers that only killed rabbits, I I executed. This is not really what I would have done. Um, so this was definitely a mistake. I should not have done that. However, I think if I hadn't killed him, or if I hadn't exiled him, if I had instead killed Walter Frey, I probably would not have gotten his money. But I'm not too sure. The High Septon has died. I. I guess I just lost my cynical trait, but I still I'm not really religious, so I don't really care that much. And Jarman, you have inherited Varys or Molin. Is that Varys the Spider? He had Crackla Baron. Interesting. You gave that, and now Amazon the Lannister. You gave it to Amazon the Lannister, and she has also the Dragon Gate. That is very strange. Wow. Okay. He must feel very secure. Uh, he's. Regent is Lord Morton of Iron Oaks. Okay, Wainwood. Hmm. I suppose that works. Also, uh, I've noticed that Pink Maiden has been taken over by the Lannisters. Don't know exactly how that happened. Um, but yeah, it did. And now we're at war with Dawn. What's going on? Why are we at war with Dawn? Um Okay, the North is fighting. Oh wow. The Riverlands have joined the North in this foolish war, and now we're being besieged again by uh, what? 200, Gerald the third. Who's Gerald the third? Could that be? No, it's not it. It is Gerald. Gerald the third, Darkstar. The Darkstar is besieging uh, Sentinel's Point right now with 200 men. Now, luckily, that's not enough. But there's another 9,000 men. And they're probably gonna crush these 2,000, and that means Sentinel's Point's gonna get besieged again. Damn it. My courteous see up uh, lacks all passion. Uh, fine. Yep. Having a con content Kuria is, is totally cool. I'm fine with that. Ugh. Well, the problem about besieging Sentinel Point is actually that uh, because we have harsh winter, it's going to take even longer to get our levies and our garrison back. So whoever we lose, we're probably going to have them lost for a long time. Um, you have revoked Pink Maiden. Okay. You have not married yet. Oh, but you have actually turned out to become a pretty good military commander. And you look just like Turian. I mean, you, you do have different hair, but like the, the whole face looks just like Turian's face. I find that funny. Alright. Uh, luckily though, Sentinel's Point is no longer being besieged. The Tullys actually have a lot of troops. I'm surprised. They actually have wow, ton ton tons of men. However, they are still losing that battle for some odd reason. Um, a daughter was born to James, James Justice. See up Piper, Aclatine Justice. Okay, well, we're gonna make you learn her military. There you go. Now, she's a Veilman culture. That's because I guess James is, was a Veilman. Yeah. Alright. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, so there's actually a lot of men that we're fighting, but we're losing at 99% already. Um, you want to buy land again? Yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna agree with that. I want to keep my incomes high, and I I would enjoy the money, obviously, but I don't think it's the right thing to go for right now. Okay, uh, we're still actually making quite some, quite some money. I like that. I want to go comment after another. I could not take it anymore. I even tried to bribe Septon Louis so he would shut up and stop firing cynical remarks. Interesting, because we've been cynical before. We've just, we've just stopped being cynical. So yeah, I, I find this very interesting indeed. Um, and finally there is peace. So the North is no longer at war and that will probably save it. Now I'm very happy the White Walkers have not declared their war. Um, the North is still fighting. Interestingly enough, the North is still fighting. And uh, Riverland- Oh, Edmund Holly now wants- Oh god. Why? Why? I, I, I don't know if I want to fight this. Uh, but the Malisters are fol following him. Patrick Malister is following Edmund Holly into his war. Fine, I mean, I mean, I guess he's one of the advisors. I guess I will join. I just hope we're not going to be besieged, but I I think this is foolish. I think this is pretty foolish indeed. Yeah, you have no one helping you out. You now proclaimed yourself King of Rivers. Okay, you disfigured. Hmm. Terence Blueclay has a daughter, Theona. You're also going to be uh, educated in humility. Very good. Wait for you. Oh my god. Edmure, what are you, what have you done? This is stupid. 
this is stupid, but it's not as bad as what the North did. Uh, for now, I'm just hoping that, yeah, Winter is not attacking. The White Walkers are just staying there. They're content with occupying the wall. I'm guessing they're just preparing. They only have a thousand men. That's really not that many. That's really not that many. And wow, Sir Alwood, another tithe. Very good. I guess we could go ahead and build our brothel now. I guess we could. A tiny fruit orchard would also be kind of useful. Now, maybe we need some food. I mean, that could be possible. Um, I I mean, I, I've been... I've kept talking about, you know, building... Building the brothel. But I don't really know if this is the most important. I don't think that's the most important thing right now. I think food would be a little bit better. Like a granary. Although, maybe it's too late for that. It's probably too late for that anyways. Although... If, a tiny fruit orchard. A small amount of fruit trees are planted in this orchard. The fruit they produce provide a small tax income. Hmm. I guess we're gonna go with the brothel. Yeah. Okay, I think we're just... I, I've been talking about it for so long. Let's just do it. There we go. Anyways, that will be the end of this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you next time.